I came to Christians, Christian Women's Job Corps because I was a completely lost soul, um, felt completely hopeless and helpless. My reason to come in Christian Women's Job Corps is to fear the, to lose the fear to speak in English because I studied in Mexico 12 years ago, but, but I never practiced. Because I was at the age of 50 years old, I had started looking for jobs everywhere. And because of my age, everything was computerized and I would always have a problem with getting a job at my age. I knew I needed to get back in school and I wanted to, but I just really had no direction and didn't know how to go about starting it. And I figured that Christian Women's Job Corps could give me a kind of a, point me in the right direction. I was, uh, you know, I was, I mean, I'm still in God and everything, but I was getting a little slack and stuff and, you know, I thought, you know, it would be best for me to be around, you know, people that, you know, know a lot about the Lord and been helping me with it and I've been knowing real good. My reason for coming to Christian Women Job Co., I believe God had a lot to do with it because I really hadn't never heard of Christian Women Job Co., I didn't know anything about it, and I was just looking in the paper, looking for jobs. And it happened to come across Christian Women Job Co. So I'm going to say that I feel like God led me to come to Christian Women Job Co. Really didn't know my reason, but now, because uh, Miss Helen just said that why won't I sign up, but now I know that the Bible study classes and the lessons that I have learned or a good reason for coming. Learned a lot of things. Um, I think most importantly is I've learned more about myself inside and out, kind of who I am, um, and Jobs for Life helped me with that. Well, I've learned that my self-esteem, my self-worth, I'm actually worth more than I thought I was. You know, it, it, it made me, it, CWJC has helped me realize that, you know, even though I was so far off track in my life that it is possible to come back. I learned a lot of things that I can apply in my life with my husband, children, friends, and especially on me. Uh, I learned how to put limits with the people that are around me. The classes that affected my life the most was my computer and my Bible study classes. My computer classes Miss Ellen's my teacher and she has really taught me a lot. I can go home and sit on my computer and very little I have to ask my grandbaby because I can just get on there and go and figure it out myself. And my Bible study classes, I just love the fellowship. It is it's great. I, always, I already know about the Lord. I already, the Lord has been in my life already. But I love the fellowship with my fellow classmates and my teachers are just wonderful. Boundaries. <clears throat> Boundaries, um, I think, is an excellent course, even if you're not um, in CWJC. It um, has taught me a lot how to set boundaries, not only um, because it's helped me help protect myself, but it's helped protect others as well. Um, you know, the word no, I can't, things like that were just never in my vocabulary, and it, it's just really helped me. Job for life. Uh, help me to discover that my passion is in financial. Um, because I study business administration because my father wants that someday I get his business. But I marry and I never do it. But now I can. The class that affected my life the most is uh, the computer class. It learned me the computer is a whole new different world that if I hit a button, it's not going to blank out. I can bring it back. It, 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 the computer was very scary for me, but now that Miss Helen taught me that I can, the undo -do, do button, it's my friend. Before starting the program, honestly, I just couldn't picture myself doing anything. You know, at 36 years old and I've been out of school since 1993, haven't worked since the early 90s, and I just kind of saw myself wandering, really. 
But now I can picture myself going on to class, getting a CNA license, getting a job, and hopefully within the next couple of years be able to have enough money saved up to get you know, me and my daughters a place of our own without having my mom you know, support me. And I, I can actually see that for myself now. So when I started coming to CWJC and being around, you know, a lot of people and people with, you know, helping with jobs and God bless that uh, one of my teachers, she uh, will help me get me a job at uh, the college, you know, doing uh, janitorial work. And I thank God for that. The one thing I remember Andy saying to us is always start small. So I have started small. And my goal is um, I'm able to save money now to go see my kids. And uh, so it just, it's nice to have goals again and know that um, there is a future. Now I have a purpose and a goal of something that I want to do. So I've got to start to it, so I'm just going and finish it, keep going. CWJC have helped me with job preparation, job the life class. It's great. It was great. It taught me how to do a resume. It taught me how to uh, um, interview for jobs, how to dress for my interviews and all that. The job preparation first on was they've helped me get a resume started, yay, because I had no clue how to do that. And um, they gave me, CWJC has also helped me, you know, know what areas to explore as far as like becoming a CNA or if I decided to go in the other direction and do anything in the veterinary field they've also gave me the tools to know where to look and you know and have the confidence to be able to do it. Time at CWJC have affected my relationship with Jesus Christ like I say the fellowship is just wonderful I love just the fellowship I love talking about Jesus and it's also have a uh, taught me how to have quiet time with the Lord, like when I send my grandkids to school in the morning, it's just me and Jesus. Uh, when everybody go to bed late at night, it's just me and Jesus. Help me learn that I need to trust in God with closed eyes, uh, because He gave His life for me. He loved me a lot, and I need to have a good relation with him in my quiet time to know what is his plan for me. I knew Jesus, but chose not to, to seek him. I was so ashamed of myself that I didn't feel worthy of asking for forgiveness or asking for help. And um, I'm be honest, I still, I still don't read the word daily, but my Bible now goes wherever I go. There's one in my car and there's one at home and I know that it's within arm's reach anytime I need it. If someone asks me about CWJC, I would tell them that if you trying to change your life or to make your life better, that this, that, that this is the place to go because they will bring in you, out of you, what's in you. I would say it would be the perfect place to go because when you go there, you're going to learn. You're going to learn that you're going to be treated like somebody. You're going to be learned things, different things, different ways of doing things. And when you leave there, they will always still be a part of your family. Oh, well, I'd have to tell some, um, anybody who asks, really, and, and in fact, I have told people that it's one of the more positive things that has happened in my life recently. And that if it can help me turn my life around and, and give myself some direction and then it can help anybody. I would tell them that, uh, you know, that go and sign up and go to CWJC because it's uh, learning you a lot. It'll help you with a lot of stuff you don't remember and don't know. Before I come into CWJC, my life was a routine. I just care my children and do my chores and home. But now I, I feel more active and I want to do more things that can help to live better. My life finally has some direction, some meaning. I feel like I have some meaning in my life now. 
You know, I don't see myself still sitting on the couch all day long anymore, which before CWJC, I just really didn't feel like getting up and doing anything. Now, now you know, I've volunteered to work somewhere and I'm going in for my first day on Friday. So I just, it, like I say, it's gave me direction and meaning. So. It had really changed me because we're from all different worlds. We're doing all different kind of things, come from all different kind of ways, but we're closer than close. And like they said, we will always be a family. And that's a big change to know that somewhere, even in St. Augustine, someone know you and they love you. I'd say CWJC is kind of like a lifesaver. You know, it, um, for me, because it's gave me meaning, it's gave me direction, it's gave me some self-confidence back. And I just, um, yeah. Whereas I was turning before to substances or just doing things I shouldn't be doing, I said it's game, it, CWJC's helped me recognize the posi positive aspects of life. So, and for which I will always be grateful. And I want to say thank you to all the people to make possible this program. It has given me, instead of having a hard time making some decisions, it's easier. And I feel like that if I really have a problem, I needed somebody to talk to, there's always the place, that's the place to go. I want to thank CWJC. For the friends, which are my fellow participants, that have never forgotten about me, even though I'm not there all the time. My mentor, my teachers, and the staff. Unless you've been a part of CWJC, you'll never know the effect that it has on your life. So I'm thankful for this program. <laughs>